Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your cloud pilot today, and in today's video, we are going to discuss yet another important case study for Google Cloud Professional Cloud Architect certification. This case study is Monker Games, which was also one of the oldest uh, case studies for the previous versions. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about the approach which I have uh, taken for this case study, and I'll also help you to map uh, the requirements along with the solutions. So let's have the uh, overview of the company Monkey Games. So they make games online, session-based multiplayer games for mobile platforms. And they recently started expanding to other platforms after successfully migrating their on-premises environment to Google Cloud. Most recent endeavor is to create a retro style first person shooter game that allows hundreds of simultaneous players to join a geo-specific digital arena from multiple platforms and locations. A real-time banner will display a global leaderboard of all the top players across every active arena. So now if you look into this, you can see a few things about the company. They make online session-based multiplayer games for mobile platforms. And after successfully migrating their on-premises environments to Google Cloud, which means they have already migrated their premises into Google Cloud. And they are going to create a retro style first person shooter game that allows hundreds of simultaneous players to join a geo specific digital arena from multiple platforms and locations. Now the solution concept is they are going to build a new multiplayer game that they expect to be very popular. And they plan to deploy the games backend on Google Kubernetes engine so they can rapid, uh, rapidly scale. And uh, they are going to use Google's global load balancer to route players to the closest regional game arena. And in order to keep the global leaderboard in sync, they plan to use a multi-regional spanner cluster. So these are some of the highlighting points, build a new multiplayer game. And they are going to deploy the games backend on Google Kubernetes engine, which can scale rapidly. And they are going to use Google's global load balancer to route players to the closest regional game arenas. To, and uh, to keep the global leaderboard in sync, they are going to use a multi-region spanner cluster. So here they have already given a few things which we can extract, Google Kubernetes engine, all those things. And now when you look into technical environment, you can see that the existing environment recently migrated to Google Cloud. Fire games came across using left hand shift virtual machine migrations with a few minor exceptions. And each new game is in an isolated Google Cloud project nested below a folder that maintains most of the permissions and network policies. Legacy games with low traffic have been consolidated into a single project and separate environment for developing and testing. So these are some of the important points to be highlighted. They are recently migrated. They used lift and shift uh, virtual machine migrations and legacy games with low traffic is consolidated into a single project and separate environments are therefore developing and testing. That is actually the structure of the organization. And for the business requirements, they need to support game, multiple gaming platform, multiple regions, rapid iteration of game features, and they have to minimize the latency. They have to optimize for dynamic scaling and they have to use managed services and pooled resources. And they also have to minimize the cost. So these are the business requirements. All of these requirements are very important. And when you look into the technical requirement, you can see that it is dynamically scaling based on game activity. They should publish scoring data on a near real-time global leaderboard. They need to store game activity logs in structured files for future analysis. They need to use GPU processing to render graphic server side for multi-platform support and support eventual migration of legacy games to this new platform. And the executive statement says that the last game was the first time they used Google Cloud and it was a tremendous success. And they were able to analyze player behavior and game telemetry in ways that they could never before. And this success allowed them to better on a full migration to the cloud and to start building all new games uh, using cloud native design principles. Our new game is most ambitious to date and will open up doors for us to support more gaming platforms beyond mobile. Latency is the top priority, although cost management is the next most important challenge. And as with their first cloud-based games, they have grown, the, uh, grown to expect the cloud to enable advanced analytic capabilities so that we can rapidly iterate on our deployments of bug fixes and new functionality. Again, here are a lot of things are to be highlighted, which is start building all new games using cloud native design principles and latency is their top priority cost management is the next most important challenge 
and then expect the cloud to enable advanced analytic capabilities and rapidly iterate on deployments of bug fixes and fun new functionality, which also stands for CICD. Now we can uh, look into the architecture which I have come across. So this is the architecture which I am proposing. So the game servers will be hosted on Kubernetes engine as they have mentioned, along with GPUs. And uh, global load balancer will be used uh, for routing the people to the nearest digital arena. And uh, the global leaderboard will be given to sync on Cloud Spanner. And uh, there we can also use Stack Driver to monitor and uh, do the alerting part. And uh, then from the game servers, the data can also be given to the Cloud PubSub, which is a real-time streaming software to Cloud data flow, upon which it can be given to BigQuery for analysis. And for visualization, we can use Cloud uh, Data Studio. And uh, in case if you are using batch processing, then from the data, we can store it towards Cloud Storage. And from Cloud Storage, we can take it to Cloud Data Flow, uh, upon which we can again uh, forward it to BigQuery, as mentioned earlier. And for the CI CD, again, we can use Cloud Source Repositories or GitHub and then build the container images. And uh, we can store the images on container registry and we can build uh, the images on cloud build uh, and uh, this can actually be deployed on the kubernetes engine which is much more convenient for all the developers and uh, operators so this is the architecture which i am proposing and uh, i hope uh, this has, uh, you have understood um, my proposed architecture if you have any feedbacks please do let me know please do comment below and uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you enough. And this is one of the most important case studies which you have to be aware of. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, till then, it's me, the Cloud Pilot, signing off. Bye. Wow.